Alright. Yeah. I'm gonna throw my two cents in with this Bigfoot mess. Even though I know it has been over-examined to the point where you could spend your entire life doing nothing but reading stuff about it and watching idiots on YouTube, like me, ramble on about it. You want my quick opinion on Krypton? He's not real. There. I'm gonna go ahead and tune out. The Xbox is there. Now, for all y'all that stay, thank you. I'm gonna start talking about it, so I'm gonna the hand now. As far as I can discern, the modern depiction of Bigfoot comes with the Passion Gremlin film. I'm not here to do a full breakdown on it, but I think it too is a hoax. Very well done. Good. I give them the best credit you can give them. But, you know, from what I've seen, main arguments for me too. Not being a hoax, I did technology at the time. This didn't exist, it makes it look so good. And it limp proportions are not that of a human. You know, I mean, if he's got really long arms go down to his ankles or whatever, then you can't paint that, right? Well, I'm here to tell you that you can. I mean, there's ways. And I'm just going to show you how I can let go, but tell you how I'd do it. I want to reproduce their film. First, it's simple. You want long arms? Have the monkey suit. Special made with weird proportions. Spend as much as you can. Get it all nice and good looking. You know what? Use black dog hair and horse hair. If you can get it, and I make it look real nice and realistic, and that you know, real hair looks like good hair. Now, once you've done that, get the accuracy. Of course, his arms are going to have human proportions, so the arms of suit won't be too long. That's okay. Fix that. I have a simple answer. A simple problem. Get a stick. One like this railing pole will be like nice and when cutting the length. Stuff the fingers with some paper, or you know, maybe some dowel rods, tape them in place. Yeah, that works. Maybe, you know, the paper, you can get the uh, fingers to curl. They don't need to move. Fingers don't move a lot when one is taking a stroll anyway. Secure the stick inside the glove, maybe you nail, some wire, and, have, and then after that, your actor can fully control the long arms. Just have them walk out and open it for a space in the rain. They don't have to be perfect. Film the time is grainy, and they'll have a lot. Also, you got all day long to film. If you don't look good enough the first time, well, just put him on the other end of the creek and have him walk around. Now, moving on, let's talk about the logistical mess of the Bigfoot population would have to endure. I'm going to start with the one point that I've never seen in the Bigfoot documentary. These creatures have to be bumping up in order to make it more. However, I've never seen a video or picture of Bigfoot sightings that have multiple examples of Bigfoot there. This tells me two things. Two things right off the bat. There's three of rare, but you know, we already knew that's why the appeal is there. And that they're extremely solitary. Okay, well, that that's fine, but that leaves the question of how to find each other. Whales come to mind, I mean they're the same way, I mean, you don't go to the beach and see his whales go swimming around on a normal basis. So, I mean they're comparable, they're very solitary. And they're very distant between each other. Now, what do whales do to communicate with each other? They make songs. It works great for them, but only because water carries sound way better than it does air. This is more solid. It can go hundreds of miles on out. Now, of course, as I said, air is not as good, so we can't be making songs. So, how do Bigfoot communicate? Well, if you watch Animal Planet's Finding Bigfoot, they tell you the how and hit trees with logs. Personally, 
I think it's a bunch of hogwash because the howls that you hear exampled and Billy Bob or whatever his name is making, they just sound like the hooting and holler and of Bronx at a Saturday night bonfire. And tree knocking is a simply tiring and overlay complex way to communicate versus just using vocal tones. We also don't know what it would be, although I think it would have to hunt wild game. And I'm not gonna go into the argument that we can't prove Bigfoot existence because no one has found Bigfoot feces. I'll give the Bigfoot performance that, you know, a lot of ground on that one. When I'm out hunting, I see things on the ground sometimes, and one of the things looks like it could be a random animal that just had some really bad taco bread. The ground's just sprayed with it, and it could come from anywhere. Besides, you come across a Bigfoot turd in the woods, you really want to take that thing home with you? I'm a skeptic on Bigfoot, and I'll be the first one to tell you that Bigfoot's real. No one's found it. It's turds because no one wants to find it. Now, for the final point. Just, just imagine this. Take a wild route. Bigfoot, you know, he, he's an American creature. Yeah, you, you have Yetis, but for the most part, Bigfoot is an American thing. Now, keep that in mind. And think about how many guns this country also have. I mean, we have so many guns that they outnumber the amount of people we have. Now, Bigfoot is roaming the forests of the United States and Canada, primarily the U.S. when it comes to sightings. But Canada ain't got a lot of people, so he he probably hiding there too. Now, despite that. We have exactly zero dead bodies to be I know what you're thinking. It's, it, it's not like people just walk around the woods in the woods, right? Especially not the high powered stuff you need to kill people. That, that's just silly. Now, I'll tell you right now, if I were out in my stand, I saw Bigfoot come out. He's, he's hanging out in my field. You know, he's strolling all nice and pretty like he is in the Patterson Grimmel field. He's posing. And I don't mean some dude walking around in a monkey suit. I'm talking about 100%. Undoubtedly, we got some squash walking through the field. I'm, I'm gonna shoot him. I'd shoot him just to see if he proved that the beast exists. But no. People have been looking for this beast for around about 50 to 60 years. We have nobody found in this country. It is so heavily populated, well explored, and well off. To end, I just want to state I would absolutely love to be put be a real thing. It would be absolutely awesome. However, Bigfoot ain't gonna be found. So why does Bigfoot keep on going? Well, two reasons. People like him, and others make money off him.